Pace Bounced Audio is a new feature in Ableton Live 12.3, which only is recently released. And it's probably gonna change the way that you resample inside of Ableton Live. In this video, I wanna show you three different ways that you can utilize this cool new feature to come up with some really interesting sounds and utilize it in some really interesting creative ways. So first of all, let's talk about the concept of paste bounced audio. Here I have this simple growl, which is just created using my simple growl rack, which you can get as part of my simple bundle. Very basic and we haven't done much to here, but if I create a new audio track with command or control and T, then select this range on this track, I could copy this by right clicking and coming down to copy or using the keyboard shortcut, command or control and C. And then if I select anywhere on this audio track, I can right click and come down to the new feature, which is paste bounced audio audio or use the keyboard shortcut, which is much simpler, which is command or control, alt or option and V. And what that's gonna do is basically take a look at the selection that I'd created and copied before and then create a bounce or a render of that selection on that track and then paste that audio, that bounced audio onto this new track. So in concept, this is very similar to bounce to new track, which is a feature that was introduced in live 12.2, but let's start to look at why this is cool. So this is the audio that we just bounced. What I'm actually gonna do is add a take lane by right clicking and coming down to inserting a take lane or using the keyboard shortcut, which is option or alt shift and T and that will add a take lane here. And I'm gonna pull this down onto that take lane. Now, all I need to do is just adjust the original sound in some way, shape or form. So for instance, I could make the attack a little bit faster, change like the FM ratio, reduce the FM amount, maybe add some redux and potentially even add some chorus. <laughs> Completely changes the sound, maybe it's just a bit more. And now, without having to do anything else, all I need to do is again, select this audio track, use the paste bounced audio shortcut, which command or control, alt or option and V. And that's going to create a new render of what I had selected previously. And so now I can just pull this again onto another take lane. I could even insert another take lane if I wanted to, and then make some more adjustments to this sound. Maybe I wanna add some more interesting effects, maybe like a reverb, maybe add on something like a raw, maybe add on like an OTT, adjust some of the effects, maybe introduce some things here, play around with this, increase the decay on the reverb, and then maybe make the FM ratio like 12, change around some of these parameters. And again, without having to reselect or copy anything, what Ableton Live is gonna do is remember that selection that I made. And then when I paste the bounced audio onto this new audio track with command or control, option or alt and V, that's going to paste the bounced audio. Super cool. So you can just continue to make adjustments to a sound without having to recopy it or rebounce it every single time. And you can just have that area selected. Then I could drag this onto a new take lane, continue making adjustments, paste a version of it that I like onto the new audio track, and then just keep creating iterations of this sound. And you can come up with a bunch of interesting sounds all based on the same sound that you've just got the iterations of here super quickly and super easily. Another way to use this feature is with randomization. Because it creates a new bounce at the time of pasting rather than at the time of copying, you can just continuously paste some kind of randomized sound and it will keep pasting variations of that sound based on the randomizations. For instance, here I've got this kind of arpeggiated sound with some randomization on the arpeggiator and on a beat repeat and it sounds like this. So it's completely random every single time it triggers. All I need to do is again, select this range. I could right click and just copy this or use the keyboard shortcut, command or control and C. And then all I need to do is just click on my new audio track. We can use the same one here that we had before and then go to a take lane, right click, use the paste bounced audio command. And then I could just keep doing that. Paste bounced audio, paste bounced audio. I could add in some more take lanes and I could just do that maybe three or four more times. Paste bounced audio, paste bounced audio, paste bounced audio. And you can see that they are all completely different. And if I solo through these, and then I could maybe just select the ones that I like using the take lane feature and create some kind of random comp from this completely randomized pasted audio. And now all of a sudden I've curated that randomness into some more predictable audio that I could use in a track to maybe resample again or kind of use as a texture or even the main 
focal point in a track. This is a really cool use of this feature. Hey, by the way, I'm opening up the waitlist for my mentorship program for early 2026 as part of my school Aspect Music Academy. If you're interested in learning more about that, then head to the link in the description. You can join the waitlist and be the first to be notified when applications open up again, beginning in early 2026. Back to the video. Lastly, with Live 12.3, we can also bounce groups and of course use this pace bounced audio feature with that function. For instance, here I've got a short little loop I've made with just some drums and some basses. Very simple, again, I'm just using some sounds from my simple bundle with the simple growl and the simple bass and then just some other sounds that I've created. Again, if you wanna grab the simple bundle, link in the description. But if I wanted to, what I could do is actually just group these basses again inside of this basses group because it has some extra stuff on it. I could select all these, right click and group these together. And this is our new basses. And then I can just select this group, which will copy all the sounds in it. I can right click copy, and then I could create a new audio track again inside of this group this time. And now I can paste that bounced audio. So we can go again, command or control, alt, option, and V. And now we've created a bounce of that group. And then once again, we can continue to create variations on our initial new bases here. Maybe I could adjust something to do with like this sound, this plucky sound. Maybe I could adjust something to do with this. Maybe I could make it shorter or something like that. Maybe I could copy this here. Maybe I could do some extra things. Just adjust some of these parameters a little bit randomly. And then again, without having to do anything in terms of copying again, all I need to do is add a new take lane to here. So optional alt shift and T, we can drag down this track. We can even add in a new take lane. And then once again, paste our bounced audio with control option and V. And now we have a new version of the entirety of this bass loop. Here's the original. And here's the new version. And so now what we could do, again, we could splice between these. So I could maybe just use some of this one from this one. I could use some of this one from this one. I could use this, I could use this. I could maybe use this and create this. And so now we're creating a composite take of all the sounds that were in that group. We could go use this new track, mute the original new bases group here. And now we've got a different version of that bass that we've created by comping together the resampled audio from the group. So a super fun and quick way of resampling groups of instruments as well to come up with different variations. This doesn't just have to be with basses, it could be with pads, it could be with melodic ideas, it could even be with drums, for instance. You could really stretch this as far as you wanted to. Now, of course, this paste bounced audio feature is just one of quite a few features and updates included in the new Live 12.3. And if you wanna check out a complete list of all the features, you can check out this video right here where I go through the release notes. But let me know in the comments what you think of this feature and if you're gonna be using it. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Stay awesome and I'll see you all in the next video.